Hey guys, I hope you guys are having an awesome Thanksgiving week. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to measure a whitetail buck. So first things first, what you need is a flexible measuring tape, a pencil, and a piece of paper to jot down your measurements. So right now I'm going to show you a picture of kind of what I have written down on this piece of paper that you need to have down so that you know what types of measurements you're going to have. So your H, your H measurement is going to be your circumference between the burr which is between the deer's head and the G1, or brow tine. Your H2 measurement is going to be the, it's going to be the smallest measurement around your main beam between your G1 and your G2. Your third circumference measurement is going to be between your G2 and G3. And your fourth will be between your G3 and your G4. If your deer does not have a G4 tine, you will measure the distance from your G3 to the tip of your main beam and figure out where the middle of that measurement is going to be and you'll measure around the main beam there. Okay, next thing we need to do after you have all those measurements written down on your piece of paper is what I did, it's the easiest thing to do is you're going to take a pencil and you're going to write you're going to take your flexible tape and what you need to do at the base of every tine you need to figure out where the very bottom of that tine is going to be which is going to be if you take a line and you draw a line right at the top of your main beam on the back side of all your tines there's going to be a mark which I'll show you right here I've already got it done there's a mark right there right at the base of the time there and that's where you're going to start your measurements to the tip of each time so let's go ahead and get started here now this is going to be a green score because this deer has to have a drying time I believe of I believe it's 60 days but um, this was just shot uh, like five days ago and this is going to be a gross score I'm not going to deduct any tines or anything like that for a net score because I believe gross is what a deer needs to be measured at because that's you know that's the whole deer you're measuring all of its everything that it's got so alright we're gonna go ahead and start off by measuring the right main beam so what we're gonna do is you measure it on the back side of the main beam so you'll put your measuring tape right at the right at the burr on the right main beam and just follow it around with your tape all the way around to the tip. And here we have 20 and 3 eighths. So I'm going to go over to my column, or to my piece of paper, and on the right side on the main beam I'm going to write down 20 and 3 eighths. And you'll do the same thing on the left. So on that side I have 21 and 2 eighths. Which was almost an inch longer than the right side. Next I'm going to move on to my inside spread. You got it, you take the greatest inside spread holding your tape parallel with the rack you can't turn it you know anything like this it needs to be parallel straight across and this point right here I'm gonna have I'm gonna have 16 and 3 8 spread okay next I'm gonna move on to my G1 also known as a brow tine which this this guy here broke his brow tine off or else we'd have probably two more inches of tine here. So I'm going to go to my mark that I made and it's going to be right at two inches. That's going to be my right side G1. Moving on to the right side G2. 
Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do my left G1. Three and seven eights. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the G2s. I'll take my right side measurement and then I'll take my left side measurement. on to the G3s. does not have a G5 but the left side does so we'll go ahead and measure that and that is right at one inch on the left side G5 um, okay so now we're gonna move on to our H measurements so remember it's your circumference measurement between your burr and your brow tine and you take the smallest measurement that you can find between there I don't know why, but that's just how they do it. And right here, we're going to have four and five eighths on your right side. And on the left side, we're going to have, i got to get it right in there. I'm going to call that four and six eighths. Nope. I'm going to call it four and five eighths. If there's any time where your the tip of your tape falls in between the lines on your tape, I do not overscore it. I'll underscore it, if anything, because it will just make it more accurate because your rack will shrink a little bit. Um, okay, we're going to move on between our G1 and G2 and find the smallest measurements there. circumference measurement between the G3 and the G4. We're looking at about three and a half there. It's going to be higher right here, I believe. Right here we're looking at three and six eighths. Okay, so that's all of our measurements. We've got our main beam. We've got our spread and we've got our circumference measurements of the main beam and we've got our tine lengths of our regular tines. Now, I have made a column for extra points here on my paper and I've got two extra points on this one and they're both kickers right at the base of each brow tine. So, I'm going to go to my mark that I've made, which I've made it on the inside. And I'm going to measure the length of those. So there we've got a two inch tine. And on this side, we've got a one and three eighths. Okay. We've just measured everything there is to measure on this deer. So now what we're going to do is go through and we're going to add up everything on our piece of paper. You add up all your columns. And then at the end, what I do is I go through and I count up, I count up all my eighth inches, and that's going to be your final score or whatever you come up with there. And I'll show you the final score of this one once I get it tallied up. Okay, so 
I've finished up my adding up of the score and I would show you this piece of paper but there's marks all over it. I'm not sure you'd understand but I come up with 147 and 2 8 inches and uh, I measured it over in the shop here a few days ago just really quickly and I come up with like 149 and 2 8 and I didn't make any marks on it or anything. It was just really quick and uh, I would say that what I did is measure too far down on my tines and taking your tape across there and making that mark really sh it really does help with um, perfecting your score because as you can tell uh, you know I was off two I was off two whole inches and that's that's a big deal because you know if you're like you know like I said I was at 149 and two eights you know I really thought this deer when I measured it like this I really thought it was going to be over 150 but as you can tell uh, it went backwards on me but that's okay i'm actually going to try to mount this deer myself as you can if you've if you've seen my other videos i've actually i've got i think we've got nine deer heads mounted and i've got a bow kill coming from the taxidermy and also an elk that i killed with my bow is coming so um, you know, it's getting pretty pricey taking things to the taxidermist, so I'm going to try to do it myself, um, you know, with a budget of 150 bucks, and I really think it's doable, because I've seen, you know, I've got a couple mounts here myself that, you know, the, this, I know I can do it. I'm not going to say anything bad about them. There's, there's a couple that I, there's, I've got a couple mounts that I don't like, and I know I can do better than what they did, so. I'm going to just take it upon myself and learn how to do it and start doing my own because I'll be saving 400 I'll be saving $400, you know, doing it myself. Guys, that's all I've got for you today. Um, I hope you guys learned something. It's really not hard to do. You just have to, you know, I'll go over it real quick with you again. You're going to do your inside spread, length of your main beams, length of your tines, and four circumference measurements around your main beam. And that's really all there is to it. And guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. And have a great video and happy Thanksgiving.